Good morning, my niggas. Good morning, my bitches. I miss the fuck out of y'all, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Oh, let's go and get it started, though. It's your boy, 007 Crescendo. Founder of Crescendo Productions. Starring in the Crescendo Podcast, right? I'm out chill. Got me a little vibe going on right here. Outside, right? Took this break, y'all. Episode 41 on break. Uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to just start it, y'all. With why I stopped posting episodes, right? Yeah, uh, I need to take this break, y'all. You know what I mean? Hold up. I needed this break, and I'm going to start back playing my music. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. I'm going to tell y'all why I need this break and what transpired during the break to show y'all that they are fucking with me, trying to make me crash, trying to make me do all this crazy shit, all because their life is trash, right? So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, right? Um, I think that was last month. The, the one of the weeks in June, right? I decided to take a break because I was looking at everything. I said last, yeah, yeah, June. That was correct. My bad, y'all. Last week of June, I de- I decided to take a break, right? Because it was so much shit going on, and I had realized that. I didn't need to do too much only because my name was kind of getting out there already type shit. So I kind of slowed down on the production of everything, right? I ain't even dropped an album recently, you know what I'm saying? I didn't drop a beat. Only thing I'm really doing right now is kind of still promoting my shit and checking in on my favorite celebrities and people and shit like that. But when it comes to work work, all I've been doing is making beats on the side type shit. And I got enough for my next album that I want to drop. But I'm not thinking about dropping that pretty soon because I notice how the industry, the music industry, tries to piggyback off my energy type shit. And they did it multiple times. So I'm going to go ahead and explain why I took the break. What happened during the break and then after the break, right? Yeah. Y'all already know what time it is. So, before I took this break, I already let y'all know what's going on in my life type shit and how I felt in my life type shit and um, things that was transpiring in my life type shit that kind of led to me taking this break now it was some things that did kind of happen but that's not even the reason why I took the break I took the break because I seen a whole bunch of unknown lame ass people trying to ride off of my energy right trying to ride off my energy and and They seen how I'm basically level-headed now. I'm happier. I'm more focused. Shit like that, right? So, in their mind, they thinking that they can stop me and and ruin my happiness. Do all types of shit to fuck me up, right? So, when I noticed that, I said, you know what? Let me take this damn break, dog. Let me go ahead and just let y'all kill each other off and talk about each other right so i went private i went private on instagram all my instagrams went private right shut i shut my mouth like they talking about shut my mouth right 
Do y'all know they still was capping? I seen a whole bunch of memes talking about, oh, my private life is starting now. I'm like, get y'all whack ass on, bro. <laughs> Everything was about privacy and changing the way I was. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I was private for like almost two weeks. It was like a week and a half, right? And I noticed I was kind of pissing off certain people, right? Not in a bad way. I was pissing off certain people because they thought I was stronger. And it was right. But at the same time, they had to understand the capacity of my situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your situation is your situation, but my situation is my situation, right? And it came to pass that I had a lot of folks watching me, right? Now, I don't know why in their brain they think mocking me and, 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 and riding my energy is a smart thing to do. But now they know it's goofy as hell because I'm smarter than them, right? So I end up getting off the break. They didn't know when. They just check my account and I'm unprivate, right? And it seemed like the motherfuckers got scared. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting there like, God damn, why everything I do surrounds y'all? Like I'm sitting there talking about y'all. Like I'm sitting there wanting to be with y'all. And... It didn't hit me till like last week that a whole bunch of people is in love with me, bro. Like how I've been in love with this lady. They in love with me, man. They are in love with me so deeply. I seen people's whole crew just pop up everywhere on my timelines and, and every, almost everywhere I go type shit. They got a messenger there to just try to... You know what I'm saying? Try to update me on shit. And I'd be like, man, I am not asking y'all for shit. I don't give a damn what y'all got going on. I'm trying to focus on my life, right? And I want to leave this message to anybody that, ha that has been listening the past couple months. For real, if you've been listening for real the past couple months, then you know that folks are not listening to what I'm saying. It's like they just read the shit and then try to go back and tell folks, oh, he talking about this, he talking about that. I did, I, I, I title shit and, and, and timestamp shit with certain names because I know y'all gonna go back and say shit. And then when you listen to the podcast, it ain't basically what y'all think it is. So that just proved how many people watch me. It's like I got a whole bunch of traps. You know how when you when you farming or when you're trying to catch an animal, you got to set up traps for the ass so you can catch the rabbits and catch the little rodents and shit like that. I did that. I set up traps in my content to see how many rats is watching me, right? And let's just say we caught the ass. There's so many motherfucking rats in the industry and in public. That I don't know why the fuck they decided to fuck with me. Because I called them. I called all they ass. It's to the point I'm unblocking niggas. I done unblocked them near 10 celebrities the past couple weeks. Because I'm like damn. I'm blocking your ass. But you ain't saying shit about me. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm blocking your ass. All because some content. You know what I'm saying? So they was they increased their little rat program after I got off break, right? And it's it's embarrassing, y'all. It's so embarrassing for them because a lot of them are too old to be doing this shit, bro. We thinking like the other seasoned veterans in the game that you are enjoying your life or enjoying your spouse. Or doing something that makes you happy, right? Hell no. It's only a few veterans in the game that is sitting there enjoying their fucking life. Whether they are married or single. They are enjoying their fucking life, bro. And I get happy when I see shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But then you got the other half of the so-called season industry. Who is sitting there 
and and are, and is fucking miserable. It's so fucking miserable. Everywhere they go, they telling people about their misery, bro. And then they try to put it on somebody else. This is how you know somebody miserable. And they they can't say I'm doing that because they they fuck with me first. People that's been in the game for a while is sitting there running everywhere they can to try to give the little trying to trying to paint a picture about somebody else. And most likely it's it's either a few people that they don't want to name or it's me. And the reason why I say it's me, because you're not finna just always name certain shit that's happening in my life, bro. I can't name one person I did like that ever. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all how crazy it is. The lady I had a the lady I'm in love with right now, I read her life wrong type shit i was thinking she was a whole nother type of chick whole time she's the complete opposite but i still was i was still was correct on certain things i just didn't know what i know now you know what i'm saying so even even the lady i was the lady i'm in love with even i didn't get all her life moments correct you know what i'm saying that's because I, I didn't even know her. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not from where she from, shit like that. But I'm looking at it like if I actually got feelings for this woman and couldn't actually read everything like that, then that let me know these motherfuckers are spying on me tooth and nail. You know what I'm saying? They spying so hard that they try to act like they just making up shit. Bro, you said the same shit everywhere you go you know what i'm saying and it's to the point it's fucking up their own career so i'm I'm actually laughing at their part that they they'll risk their whole career for me and whoever else they talking about but i don't want the kids to sit there and think that's the way to go hell no you know what i'm saying it's so many ways you should go especially when you spent years in this game but you don't know, supposed to ever crash out type shit. You know what I mean? You're supposed to do your thing. You're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Focus on going higher every time type shit. And then if you are retired or whatever you're doing, you can take your vacations. You can go around, see the world and shit. Shit like that, right? But that's not what a lot of these so-called veterans are doing, man. A lot of these damn veterans are sitting out here mad at shit, mad at the new class, mad at somebody who's better than them. And I'm like, you always mad, fam. You know what I'm saying? That lets you know a lot of these niggas and a lot of these bitches are frauds. You know what I'm saying? That should let all y'all know don't be listening to a celebrity just because they've been in the game this long, bro. Look at their life. Look at their patterns. Look at their motherfucking family look at their look at the people that's around them you know what i'm saying look at who supports them look at how hard they're trying if they trying too hard and they ass up and you, you know what i'm saying being everywhere on hella shit and they still trying too hard in 2024 their career was fake they were a plan the whole fucking time because ain't no way i spend my whole life doing this shit and then i feel some kind of way when when the, when the years change all because or somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. Ain't no nigga or bitch gonna take away none of my experience, man. If it's real. I got real experience type shit, you know, in my life. So I don't allow anybody to try to take away my experience. And they have tried. Trust me, they tried so many times. As a drummer, I have I have seen a lot of type of things in this drumming world that kind of proves that a lot of people been playing with my drum mentality you know what i'm saying it's kind of like a guitar if you play the guitar and you play the guitar your whole life and then everywhere you go somebody well not everywhere most places you go somebody's trying to devalue your guitar knowledge you're gonna feel some kind of way or every time you join something Whatever you join, they always got a guitar with 
the strings that you always play with. Like, you always play with five strings type shit, but they got four strings. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit, it happened to me a lot with my drumming experience. But the thing is, I'm so damn trained in this drum world that I can get on... I can play the motherfucking bucket on the side of the fucking road with some sticks. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a whole drum set to feel like I'm a drummer type shit. My bad. Who that was? Okay, okay. I, I don't I don't need a whole drum set to feel like a drummer, but at the same time, people not finna play me when they come with these you know what I'm saying? Trying to fuck with my mentality drum sets type shit. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. Hold on. Let me text my people's back. And... I'm saying this for musicians everywhere, too. If you've been training your whole life and you know somebody right now trying to downplay your intelligence, leave their ass or, or don't even fuck with them or, or just try to do the best you can with whatever you got. Because I feel like that's a mental tactic. It's like a military mind training tactic to try to devalue your intelligence type shit. And it goes for any type of thing you in. You could be a rapper. If you know you can write 16 bars per verse and you go to a label that only wants you to write eight bars, they trying to devalue your skills. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're an artist, if you paint pictures, if you draw and shit, you can draw a whole picture, but you sign to a company that only wants you to draw a basketball all the time. There you go. They trying to devalue your intelligence, man. And I'm not saying, oh, you know, you should be able to do the whole thing. I'm just saying, whatever skill set you have, they shouldn't try to go under that for you. You know what I'm saying? But that's how they've been doing this little mind take the game. They try to act like, oh, if you was this cold and you have this and that, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, that doesn't apply to everybody. Like That applies to some folks. But that does not apply to everybody because everybody's situation is not the same, right? So, it goes back to my music and why I took the break. I took my break last month. <laughs> last, uh, when it was in June. And I needed that shit, man. July. I think it was in July. I needed that break because I'm not going to sit there and allow all these square bob ass unknown motherfuckers to keep stealing my swag like they're the ones making the shit. So while I was on my break, I was still online lurking this shit. But I was trying to see if they was going to try to see how long they was going to try to keep copying without seeing my shit, right? And they failed. They failed so miserably. I had, it's, it's, I had niggas that's CEOs lurking on my shit when I went unprivate. You know what I'm saying? People that's label, label executives and, and motherfucking uh, A&Rs and shit started lurking on my accounts after I went unprivate. And I'm like, yeah, nigga, all of y'all are fucking crackheads. Y'all thought your artist was coming in with ideas. You thought your handlers was like, this was a good idea. Whole time, they trying to mock me, dog. And when they had a whole week and a half of no content, they the fans was like, okay, we see now that y'all fucking suck. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all ain't doing shit for a whole week. Or if you're doing shit, it's all, you got, a, you got a bad attitude about it and you're trying to talk about somebody else. One of these bitches wrote a song about the shit and then tried to make it seem like she in love with me. And they're going to be like, oh, I'm doing too much or whatever. You're right. You think, yeah, yeah, like I said, I ain't trying to convince nobody. I ain't trying to convince nobody no more. I just know what I see and I know what the timing is because they think, they think I'm a dumbass nigga, right? Niggas be thinking I'm a dumbass nigga and shit like that. So.
I let them think that. And then show why I'm smarter than these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? So. I'm looking at shit like. Let me see how smart they are. If they claim they smart. They got this money. They doing their thing and shit. That means. They shouldn't be out here. Lacking on certain shit right. Tell me why. I started going extra smart on their ass. Now their ass look dumb as hell. I got off my break and caught all their ass lurking, bro. I'm sitting there like, hold on, fam. I thought y'all ass was running shit. I thought people was looking for y'all. I thought niggas was knocking down y'all dope for a motherfucking deal. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. You know what I mean? It's to the point. People are so spiritually connected to folks. That. If you wonder why you felt drained. Or if you wonder why certain shit be happening in certain ways. It's because you got these no life energetic vampires. Who's connected to you somehow. You know what I mean? They ain't connected to their damn self. Nobody knows what they're doing. Nobody cares what they're doing. But everything you do, they got to react to it. Everywhere you go, they got to pop up at them. Every time you do something, they got to do it. You know what I'm saying? It lets you know that a lot of these motherfuckers are plants and spies. Because I got a lot of shit going on right now. I don't got time to be worried about the next door neighbor or a nigga in another hood type shit. You know what I'm saying? I got real actual shit going on. I got to check my motherfucking music every motherfucking day type shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why as a person who's not spiritually connected to regular folks, I can see the difference between the ones that are. You know what I'm saying? And then I got our break right. When I got our break... They changed up again. It's like every time I make a move, they change up, right? And I'm looking at it like, damn. If only all y'all ass was listening to my beats or at least playing them hoes, I'd be motherfucking rich right now. You know what I'm saying? But that's not how it's working. Y'all ass sitting there watching me like you want me to kill myself or some shit. And that's not going to happen, nigga. Because I'd rather smoke somebody before I kill my damn self. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd rather smoke somebody before I kill myself. So I don't know what the fuck y'all thought was going to happen, nigga. Y'all had me fucked up by the way I look. You know what I'm saying? And, okay, so... Uh, well, I'm talking about the break. Okay, got off the break, right? I was thinking that motherfucking Drake was going to drop some shit, right? Because that's how they did with the Kendrick shit. I told my bro, I said, Kendrick gonna probably drop that video on July 4th. And that's exactly what the fuck he did. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, hmm. If I get our break, maybe Drake post a response. And then Kanye gonna lie to him out. Oh, I'm taking a, I'm, 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 I'm retired from music. You know what I'm saying? All this on my break, right? I'm retired from music. So, it's, it's been a drop. So, so it's done with all this. I'm, I'm, I'm going on vacation. Everybody want to go on vacation and shit. And when I get out of break, now all of a sudden everybody back wake, waking up. Oh, let's drop this Vultures 2 and, and, and Drake want to drop some shit. Nah, bro, I'm tired of that bullshit, man. You niggas weird and corny as fuck, bro. Same shit be going on in my neighborhood. I come outside for 20 minutes, a neighbor pops outside. I get on the phone and shit. Another neighbor gets on the phone. You know what I mean? It's to the point it's like they sitting there mimicking me because they want to be me, dog. I walk to the store. 50 people pop up to the damn store. You know what I'm saying? And it can't be like, oh, you know, that's just coincidence. Nigga, I don't tell nobody when I'm going to the store. I don't tell nobody when I'm coming outside. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers weird. It's like, it's like they want to get involved with my life, but too pussy to come over here and tell me, you know what I'm saying? 
So I don't even bother. I don't even think about them. I ignore their ass because I'm like, bro, I ain't worried about regular people that bad. You know what I'm saying? That's your damn problem, nigga. That's your creepy ass weird problem. And it's probably why your house ain't shit right now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that do that, they house ain't clean. They probably stinking that bitch. You know what I'm saying? They bitch probably cheating on them. Or they nigga. You know what I'm saying? The kids don't respect their ass. So it's like, I guess they can hear your energy. You know what I'm saying? And it still ain't gonna work. Like, bitch, you can't mimic the real motherfucker. It don't matter how much money they pay you. It don't matter how much alcohol you consume. It don't matter how many people you scare, nigga. You still ain't gonna be the real one at the end of the day because you sitting there mimicking and spiritually attached to a real one. You know what I mean? But let's go back to this shit, though, right? This music shit. So I was expecting certain things to happen when I came off the break. It happened, but it didn't happen like I thought it was going to happen, right? So now the fans looking at it like, damn, y'all ass suck. You know what I mean? We waiting on actual content. Y'all ass out there capping about content. We waiting on an interview about your life. You come up there talking about somebody else's life. You know what I'm saying? We waiting on some professional from your ass for the kids. Your ass coming on there shaking your funky ass like everybody wants you or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, as a person that's trying to show how professional I am to the world for my future and shit, y'all are embarrassing. Y'all are embarrassing as hell type shit. And then they're going to try to spin it on me. Oh, you embarrassing too because you talking about how much you love this woman. Nigga, everything I fucking do, y'all go over dramatic on. That's the difference between me and them. I can lift my foot up. Niggas always lifting lift, lift their foot up. You know what I'm saying? It's like they try to use all their spy tactics on me and then try to act like it's just the norm. If it was the norm, how the fuck all these mass shooters getting past y'all ass? I ain't heard no niggas posting up with sniper memes yet. <laughs> niggas <laughs> niggas want to cap so bad. Where the fuck these motherfucking mass shooter memes at? Why ain't nobody popping out with a fucking uh, a robber pops up? This nigga robbing everything around him. He done robbed his mama and shit like that. Ain't nobody talking about that part. Ain't nobody popping up. Ain't nobody spiritually connected to the rapists. Nigga raping people and shit like that. Ain't nobody talking about that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm showing y'all that they are a national threat to society because they will look over real crimes to try to fuck with regular people all because of how they look or all because they are spiritually connected to their ass. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't like we, we, it ain't like we, it ain't like we spiritually connected back with them. It's like a one way thing. Like a one-way street. Y'all heard of a one-way street? A lot of y'all already know about those. It's a one-way street, nigga. You only go one way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not spiritually connected to none of these motherfuckers. Because first of all, it don't it don't make me wealthy. If I if I if I if if, if being spiritually connected to y'all ass was 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 gonna make me wealthy, then yeah, I'd be spiritually connected to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But it don't bring me more wealth. It don't bring me notoriety. It don't bring me any damn thing but stress being connected to y'all ass. So, no. I am not spiritually connected to none of these motherfuckers type shit. You know what I'm saying? And, um... That's what separates me from them. It's kind of like the boys from the men. Separate boys from men. Matter of fact, I'm glad I'm talking about this shit. Boys and men, and then I'm not even going to make it seem like that. I'm going to say in the closet niggas versus real men, right? Y'all talking to a man who has been through it all, man. I've seen so much shit that that's why I'm not excited about a lot of shit no more. 
And that's why you don't see me just popping out everywhere, going to see everybody and shit like that. Yeah, I met both, man. I'm a man myself, but I met other men. And then I met in the closet bisexual men. And I'm going to show you all the big differences between both. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, big coach. Let's talk about it, bro, now. Folks, now. Let's talk about it, folks, now. Let's talk about it, cuz, blood. Let's talk about it, B. <laughs> B. Let's talk about it, B. So, real men like me and many other men out there, well, a few other men out there, there's only a few of us, me and a few other real men out there have been getting trained by the world a whole nother type of way. This is why you don't catch us doing goofy ass shit, acting goofy, being messy, being petty every chance we get because it will it will look bad on our end type shit. It will look bad for the future type shit. So the type of shit and the type of things that we think about is not what bisexual men in the closet bisexual men think about. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't the problem of being bisexual. It's the problem of being in the closet type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm straight. A lot of us men are straight. A few of us men are actually straight type shit. But then you got a lot of men who's backdoorial. You know what I'm saying? They're so backdoorial that they make it seem like their thoughts is what matters to all mankind. And we like, shut the fuck up, nigga. Ain't nobody thinking like you're weird, corny ass, man. You know what I'm saying? It's to the point you can tell if they're bisexual if everywhere they go is about another man's sex life. Everywhere. Y'all could be at a gospel event. You know what I'm saying? You could be at a motherfucking, you can be at a sport, you can be at the NBA, nigga. You can go to the NBA game right now and watch how that bisexual nigga gonna make a sex joke about one of the players, bro. Like the White Howard. It'll be at the White Howard ass nigga sitting there talking about sex. And I'm like, nigga, watch the fucking game, weird ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get some nacho. Look at these beautiful women in here, nigga. And the first thing you think about is another man's sexual life. I wonder who he fucking. Damn, bro, you in the closet, nigga. When I go out as a single man, I'm looking at women. I'm like, damn, she fine as hell. But not all the time. You know, I'm not going crazy. And I'm like, I ain't never seen a woman before. No. I seen women all my life. But in my mind, I'm like, damn, she fine as hell. Or, or oh, she got a big ass. Or, oh, she got some titties. You know what I'm saying? She kind of cute. Shit like that, right? Don't be around no bisexual man in the closet. This nigga in the closet, he gonna try to motherfucking compromise the whole thing. Yelling and screaming, trying to get the bitch attention. I'm like, yeah, bro, that's how I know your ass is a liar, nigga. You don't even know how to talk to women. A lot of these niggas don't know how to talk to women. Because they was either spoiled their whole life or their agents out here trying to act like they know what's going on. They trying to mimic the man shit, right? They trying to mimic straight man shit. And it doesn't work because it's not a it's not a game. It's just natural. And I ain't gonna reveal too much of the man game because you know, they gonna go back and try to write that down in their notes. So I'ma just show y'all where they fucking up at. That's number one, to expose how many bisexual niggas in this bitch, bisexual thwanks in the closet as weirdos. Uh, uh, a regular adult supposed to be worried about their own life, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's another thing in the world for both people. It's called speak when spoken to. You know what I'm saying? Speak when spoken to. So that's how I know as a straight man, we got a whole different training than them in the cause of bisexual men, famous or not. They can be famous as hell right now. It's to the point I think Tyrese is bisexual. The singer Tyrese, you know what I'm saying? And I res I had respect for the dude, but I'm like, bro, you was a little too damn moody for me, bro. 
and I ain't gonna spend all day on that. I'm just, I'm just letting y'all know how I feel type shit. And yeah, he got a wife and kids. Well, most bisexual niggas do got wives and kids, whole families and shit. So I'm like, having a wife and kid don't make you straight either, nigga. Your actions speak louder than words, man. It's like me going to stab somebody and say, I'm not stabbing you. Just because I said I'm not stabbing you, does that take away the fact that I'm I'm really gutting your ass out right now? You know what I'm saying? It's like some things, it says what's understood don't need to be explained. If it's understood, it don't need to be explained. And a lot of y'all is over explaining shit. Y'all, a lot of y'all trying to explain so much. I'm like, nigga, you look more like a like a fucking fraud than somebody that's experienced. You know what I'm saying? If I say I'm experienced with life or I'm experienced with certain things over here, I don't need to over explain the shit because a lot of people are already going through it. So it's like they don't want to hear the whole process because a lot of people already been through half the process, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how we that's how we can separate the real from the fake. The men from the in the closet niggas. Because in the closet niggas don't know how to approach women. You know what I'm saying? In the closet niggas don't know how to wait and allow a woman to speak. They try to interrupt you every chance they get. They try to talk the loudest in the room. They try to act like their life is better than everybody else. And I'm like, damn, if that's the truth, why is you hanging around other people like that, bro? Why you want to be around people like you? Why you want to be around straight people and try to corrupt them into thinking like you? That's because your life is trash. And I'm, uh, let me clear the air again. I'm going to say this every time I, I'm ta- I'm speaking on sexuality. It ain't got nothing to... Yeah. Okay. D- don't lock the door. It's like... Okay, what well, I was saying... My bad. Oh, uh, uh, okay, I don't, I don't want... I don't want actual gay folks to feel attacked. I'm not talking about actual gay folks that's out the closet. I'm talking about in the closet men who's or or females who is pretending to be straight. They think in their mind that they have to explain so much shit. But the thing is, the saying is what's understood don't need to be explained. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know who really been out here and who just been listening to some other hurt ass, heartbroken ass motherfucker. Because it don't add up. What's understood don't need to be explained. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Mind your damn business. You know what I'm saying? There's so many sayings in these streets. That makes so much fucking sense and, and applies to everybody's life to save your life. You know what I'm saying? We out here trying to save lives. And you can't save a life if you out here all up in everybody's fucking business. And not in a good way. We talking about in a jealous way. You know what I'm saying? You always want to know where everybody is. Not in, like I said, not in, a, not in a protective way. Like you just checking on them. We talking about in a jealous way so you can talk shit about them. And yes, there is famous celebrities I could name their ass right now who has been showing their ass cheeks online the past couple months. And the world doesn't know why. I know why. You know what I'm saying? I actually know why. But the fans is wondering, what the hell is wrong with y'all? And then when they look back at their career, they like, oh, that's what's wrong with you. You was getting spoiled your whole fucking life. You didn't have real interaction. You didn't have to deal with real feelings type shit. Everything about you was handed to you. You know what I'm saying? Because the ones that had to get it the right way, who had to struggle for the shit, or who had to go nights without eating or without talking to motherfuckers, they are in the best headspace right now. And that's exactly where I'm headed. I'm not headed to these messy, petty-ass, lame motherfuckers who can't make a spark by they self-type shit. I want to be headed 
in a, in a way where I'm I'm level headed at at a at an elder age. Hopefully, I'm married with my wife. We up in there just chilling at the beach or some shit. Get my drink on. She getting her sip on. And you know what I'm saying? Laying on each other. I'm I'm letting her lay on my chest and shit. We we enjoying the the fucking sunset in in Miami Beach, nigga. That's that's what the fuck I want to see my future like, nigga. I don't want to be like these whack ass niggas. I don't want to fuck with these stanky ass hoes type shit. You know what I'm saying? So you're not finna try to act like I'm the same as you niggas. All because my lips probably look sexy as hell to certain people. Or all because my dick big as fuck. And I ain't gotta lie about bitches, so I ain't gotta lie to other people about my life, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I know I'm a turn on on many levels. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you can't harass me because of how I look. And that leads to the harassment talk. So People gonna believe I took that break because I couldn't handle the pressure or whatever. No, I took the break because I'm tired of getting teamed up on. I can handle one person, one, two people fucking with me. No problem. But when you got a whole league of people like the fucking Special Olympics type shit, bitch, you got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I am not finna deal with a Special Olympics of idiots sitting there fucking with me. All because of what one motherfucker said, nigga. You got me fucked up. I'd rather watch y'all ass drive off the fucking cliff, nigga. Drive your stupid ass off the cliff, weird ass nigga. It'll save the earth so much fucking energy and shit. But now nah, y'all rather bring y'all energy together to fuck with one people, one person. So the harassment levels already been high. But it got so high recently. That they don't even care if it's the truth or not. They don't even care if they tell the truth, y'all. Usually be like, oh yeah, this happened, this happened, that happened. Now they don't give a damn if it's true or not. They out here just bald face ass lying, bro. <laughs> and and then try to get in my mind like this is the truth. And I'm looking at it like if it was, then this would happen. And the truth, I mean, the lie, the lie would die down, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, they try to lie about me. They try to lie about me on every caliber. I'm sitting there like, damn, folk, if I was all that, I'd still be better than all y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? Every time they try to downplay me, I'm like, it don't matter how you try to downplay me. I'm still better than they ass. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm looking at it like, hold on. Let me check and see if we can find some patterns. In these harassments, right? Spam crews. They seen the spam crew wasn't working, right? Now they're using the actual people. they using so many unknown ass people. I'm like, damn, motherfucker, where you work? Where's your job? Since y'all want to talk about jobs in here and there. My job is music and, and I get paid from it. So it ain't like, oh, you ain't got no job either. Nah, this is a job, motherfucker. I got statements, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Where, where do y'all work, though? All these damn rappers and, 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 and entertainers want to leave so many breadcrumbs by my life. Nigga, talk about your own life, motherfucker. That should be the newest trend, bro. That's why drill music went so far. Y'all wonder why drill music went so far? That's because a lot of these motherfuckers was talking about real, actual events, nigga. You industry motherfuckers come on here talking about somebody that you won't even name, nigga. They out here naming dead bodies. Y'all ass out here speaking in third party talk. You know what I'm saying? That's why we handling the industry, bro. I don't give a fuck who you are, where you from, who you know, who you saying to. We listening, bro. And I don't give a damn who your cousin. Your cousin probably live two houses down, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck, bitch. They gonna shoot they self in the head. You know what I'm saying? They gonna shoot itself in the fucking leg, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all really get y'all new slaves in here trying to act like they running shit. 
Bro, shut the fuck up. These niggas can't even run their own house. They can't even run the block. These niggas cannot even run their own block, bro. But I'm supposed to believe that I should be worried about these folks. No, they should be worried about they self, nigga. I don't care who you can to. I don't care how much money you got. I can tell your ass broke by where you live in, nigga. And they're going to be like, how? Huh? Uh, what if you ain't millionaire staying there? And ain't no millionaire staying in no fucking regular ass house, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing, bro. And I, I, you know what I'm saying? We talking about regular ass homes. Houses that don't even cost 30000 down dollars. Boy, nigga, be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with folks. Harassing people, yeah, the harassment. It kept getting. It, it, it's so. It's so crazy now. They. They lying, bro. I, I'm just waiting on seeing. I'm just waiting on. Matter of fact, also too. Not only they lying, I see how many people that's lying, and I'm like, damn, that's a lot of folks, right? So they let y'all know that they are forcefully not trying to make me go viral. It ain't like they don't know me. Nah, they know me. Because ain't no way all this shit's happening like this, right? You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way all this shit happening like that. So, they know me. They just showing how many people already know me by doing crazy, goofy shit and lying shit like that, right? So, I'm looking at it like, damn. Y'all motherfuckers ain't got no life. <laughs> I don't care how y'all try to cap about me, whatever you try to do, lie, make me feel bad, harass me. You just basically let me know you ain't got no fucking life, you lame ass bitch, and then I can smoke your ass. You just giving me the free ticket to kill your ass. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're from the streets for real, you know you ain't supposed to fuck with nobody. You ain't supposed to underestimate nobody, nigga, because you don't know who's what, nigga. You ain't supposed to believe what niggas say. And if you do, they let me know you a rookie to this shit. No matter if you old or young, motherfucker. You know how many old ass motherfuckers out here acting like they don't know about the streets? And it's talking about, yeah, I've been out here since... If you been out here, nigga, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck niggas get robbed. That's all I be saying, nigga. You niggas be lying like a motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? Acting like everybody don't know shit like your ass. Nigga, shut the fuck up. This is why it's best to just speak when spoken to, bitch. Always looking for a conversation. Y'all ass wagged in a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Think we the same, nigga. Hell no. The shit I know is, is what y'all need to know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, bro. Especially if you ain't got no fucking money, dog. If you ain't got no money, I don't give a fuck what you talking about, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that shit, bro. Y'all want to harass people so bad? Okay. Like I gotta say, bro, if you harassing folks, if you harassing me or somebody I know or somebody I like, you just gave me the free ticket to smoke your ass. You know what I'm saying? Because you supposed to be worried about your job, right? Nigga need to work. How the fuck you working and harassing people at the same time, nigga? That don't even match. You you working, harassing, cheating, spying, stealing, robbing, <laughs> fighting. Y'all doing all that. But can't, can't get a career. That's how I know your ass ain't shit, nigga. Like, you motherfuckers ain't shit. And you gonna die in your shit, nigga. You gonna die choking on your own shit, motherfucker. Because y'all weird as hell. You not gangster. Y'all motherfuckers lame as fuck. I don't care if a nigga get an AR, start shooting in the air 40 times. Guess what, stupid ass? You just lost bullets, nigga. You just lost 40 bullets shooting at nothing. You goofy, nigga. You's a dumbass. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. You got me fucked all the way up, nigga. You know what I mean? 
But since it's almost an hour in, let's go ahead and change the subject, gang. Uh, got the harassment out the way. Got the break out the way. Uh, got my feelings out the way. Got the differences out the way of real men. Oh, oh yeah, matter of fact, I'm not even done with the real man talk. So, yeah, as a real man, I think totally different. And I ain't going to reveal everything. Because I know how hard they're listening and watching. So, uh, ladies, look at these niggas. And I ain't talking to all ladies. Some of you bitches is sour, bitter heifers. I ain't talking to the sour, bitter, lonely, funky ass bitches. I'm talking to the real, actual women that's doing something. Look at these niggas. I don't care if you got money or not. It don't matter if you got money, connections, and all that. Check the nigga vibe. Check about what he talking about. Look up his content if he doing content. Listen to his music if he make music. It's the same pattern. A lot of these in the closet ass niggas love talking about a nigga. They get charged up off another nigga. They think about a nigga every time they wake up and go to bed. It's about a nigga. But they want to talk about, oh, I get bitches. I get hoes. How the fuck you get hoes and everything you doing right now is because of another fucking nigga. Your son out there going in the streets for another fucking nigga. Oh, he got a baby right now. Guess who put the bitch on him? Another fucking nigga. Guess who X that is? Another fucking nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga just got locked up and shit. Who he get locked up with? Another fucking nigga. Y'all out there killing people. They killing people and shit. Who we killing with? Another fucking nigga. You go to work. The nigga had a fight. Who he fought? Another fucking nigga. Everything that surrounds these bisexual ass people is always another fucking nigga. It's to the point the bitches out there begging y'all ass for a conversation, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen so many niggas talking about they fucking hoes. And the first thing that come out your mouth on a song is about another nigga. Not even your life. You ain't even talking about your life first. You talking about another nigga the first verse you come on. Bisexual ass niggas. Niggas ride a move with all that fucking. Who's, wh- wh- why you want to see niggas fuck so many times in your shit, nigga? Because you weird. You corny. You fucking in the closet ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Asking them niggas why you go so hard. I'm going so hard because these niggas, these niggas. Yeah, I know you think about a man, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Not like a real man. You don't even know what we think like, nigga. You don't even know how we think. You know what I'm saying? Weird as fuck. Y'all niggas ain't shit, bro. And like I like I stated, it's not about being bisexual. It's when you in the closet, bro. Being in the closet and then you trying to act like a straight man is the problem. Y'all don't think like straight men. You don't move like a straight man. You can be the biggest nigga, steroid taking 6,000 feet tall, nigga. If you like male's ass, you're going to show the same traits of a nigga that likes male's ass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of you niggas, man. Want to act like y'all so hard and shit. Boy, be quiet. Another nigga got you in your feelings right now, nigga. How you let a nigga get you in your feelings, nigga? You supposed to be thinking about a bitch right now. You got a whole baby mama. You got girls looking at you right now. The first thing they see is you think about another man. What they going to say? What, what you think about? She know what you think about, nigga. That's why she asked your ass. You know what I'm saying? She probably let you fucking everything. You fuck. And then right when you get done fucking, uh, what this nigga talking about? Yeah, you think about another man right after you fucking. That's, that's probably what you think about the whole time, nigga. You got a whole baby. Now y'all got a whole baby. Guess what? He don't care about the baby. He think he running the street with this other nigga. You know what else bisexual as hell? 
Niggas that wanna fuck around other niggas. You wanna run train so you can look at another nigga dick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause like I say, it's a whole different way men think. And I ain't gonna tell y'all because I don't want them to try to act like it after I say it. So I'ma just tell y'all what they doing. Yeah, running trains on bitches. It'd be four niggas and one bitch. You know what I'm saying? Stealing from each other. Where y'all think the term backdoor come from? These niggas setting up their friends, nigga. You homo. <laughs> Not like that. You you in the you in the closet ass bitch. These niggas wanna fight so bad. How you always wanna jump one nigga? Y'all always wanna jump one person and try to act like you got the hands. Well be quiet. You ain't got no damn hands, nigga. You ain't got no hands if you always want to jump one person, nigga. Hell no. Stop playing with me, bitch. Go to work. Every time you at work. Every time you at fucking work. What is this bisexual ass nigga talking about? Fuck it. Oh, look at this video of sex. Sex this, sex that. Nigga, everything on your mind is about sex. Go become a porn star if you want to wanna fuck so bad, nigga. Oh, you can't because ain't nobody going to watch that whack ass shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We up in here working. The shit out here behind. You got to fix the machine, bitch. Fix the fucking machine, nigga. Stop worrying about other people's sexual life, weird ass nigga. Or they start suing y'all ass for sexual harassment, bitch. Or start choking the fuck out y'all ass on the job, nigga. Yeah, tell them that too. They not safe on the job, nigga. Straight niggas gonna beat they ass, nigga. And the first thing they gonna do is get that nigga fired. No, nah, you supposed to be a real ass nigga. Keep it in the streets, right? Keep the shit in the streets. Why the fuck your ass sitting there calling the manager trying to get niggas fired? Bitch ass rat. I knew your ass was a rat. Bitch ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We are not the same, nigga. They not like us, bitch. Ain't gonna never be like us, bitch. Your whole life full of lies, bitch. You know what I'm saying? You gotta arise off another man, bitch. That's what I'm gonna call your ass bitches. Who you call a bitch? You, bitch. I call men, men. I say, what's up, bro, if you a man. But if you a bitch-ass nigga, I'm gonna call you a bitch in your face. And I want you to fight. I want you niggas to try to fight, nigga. I'ma punish your ass so bad. Your pussy ass gonna go back. Oh, he beat my ass. Let's go jump him. And then I'ma pull out the strap when 50 niggas come through, nigga. Weird ass niggas. Y'all do the same ass shit any city. It don't matter when it don't matter which city you name. You know what I'm saying? You niggas do the same ass shit. That's how I know the same ass handler is pumping y'all asshole, bitch. Because he tell y'all what to do, nigga. Then when it's a nigga that can't fight, y'all scared to fight the nigga. Now nah, go fight the nigga. You talking about your hands crazy. Nigga scared to fight. Nigga want fighting here and there. Why you ain't fighting that nigga over there then? Huh? Oh, this homie. No, no, no. I want to hear that shit, nigga. Lying ass bitch. Nigga so scary. You want to jump niggas. You know what I'm saying? whole bunch of shit, man. You know what I mean? But I'm going to go ahead and end this, man. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, I probably drop episodes uh, every other week because um, I, I got a lot of music shit to tend to. Uh, the way I feel about this woman, she got me just deeply in my feelings, right? She got me in my feelings in a good way, in the good throw up way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, shout out to her. She's doing great. She is beautiful, shining, getting her money. Love you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Get your bread. But, 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 uh, but uh, y'all better leave her alone, though. I see how y'all talking. Niggas try everything in their power to fuck this shit up. They talked about age. They try to cap on her race. Oh, yeah, I'm telling everything with y'all weird ass. Y'all weird as fuck, lame ass bitch. 
You ain't get no real nothing in your life. I ain't never seen y'all this mad and active, bitch. Y'all mad as a motherfucker. You're sending so-called legends to interviews to talk about the shit. Corny, fucking cornball-ass bitch. You ain't gonna never be her. You ain't gonna never be me. Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Looking beautiful. Getting her checked. Then niggas wanna, they niggas wanna act like her too now. That's how I know you niggas handle. Who the hell acts like a woman, bro? Y'all really trying to do everything this woman is doing. Like, oh my God, y'all take big ass dildos up your ass, nigga. I don't care how many bitches you got on your shoulder. You can have a thousand bitches right now lined up in which y'all don't have. And ain't nothing I'm going to line up for your ass. But y'all can have a thousand bitches right now lined up. I'm still not going to believe you do, you straight as hell, nigga. If you did all that shit. If you said all that and did all that the past couple months, you are not a straight man, nigga. You actually a bitter, sour-ass, bisexual thwank, nigga. They use you at them frat parties, bitch. Because I'm sitting there like all this love is happening every day. Motherfuckers having kids every day. Motherfuckers getting married every day. Girlfriend, boyfriend, breaks ups, uh, uh, cheating. All this shit is happening every fucking day in this big ass world. Where 8 billion fucking people on there. But everything I fucking do gets y'all in y'all goddamn feelings. That's good, bitch. All y'all are shadows anyway, nigga. We don't fucking need y'all. You ain't help nobody in your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody asking for your bitch ass. You the one got to pop up. You the one got to get seen, nigga. What the fuck can you do? Besides waste everybody's time. You got babies. You got baby mamas that ain't proud of your ass, nigga. That's why you got to pay all that damn child support, bitch. You ain't taking care of your own business. Talking about standing on business. Don't say standing on business if you on child support with your broke ass. That ain't no child support statement, nigga. That ain't no broke bitch statement, bitch. That ain't no stanky bitch. Bitch statement, bitch. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no jumping people statement. If you jumping, folks, you ain't standing on no business with your scary ass. You know what I'm saying? Stealing clothes and shit. You stealing clothes, you ain't standing on no business, nigga. I buy my clothes, bitch ass nigga. Bought my clothes. You ain't standing on business if you gotta steal guns, bitch. I bought all my guns, bitch ass pussy, nigga. Not the same fuck is you talking about nigga yeah and that's why they did that's why they did stop saying stand on business but you mean y'all ain't stand on shit bitch y'all standing in the way yeah standing in the way that's y'all shit that's why you're getting blown down every day <laughs> that's why y'all get shot the fuck down every damn day because you're standing in the way you ain't standing on no business your drugs weak as fuck Nigga, somebody smoking gas. Boy, I can't smell that shit. That is not gas. Shut the fuck up. CBD ass shit, nigga. How you smoking CBD and, and trying to act like this is real gas to people that have been smoked gas before? You know what I'm saying? I ain't even standing on the drug business. Niggas ain't got real lean. Y'all want to sell K-Roll. Bitch, you can't, you can't even get the real actual drug, nigga. You can't even get Reggie, nigga. Shut the fuck up. You niggas ain't even get rigid, you bitch ass nigga. Tell me you standing on shit. Well, be quiet for they for the police stand on your neck, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Yeah, out this bitch, man. I had to let y'all know all that. We gonna I'm gonna keep y'all informed. Cause one thing I'm not gonna be is played with. You know what I'm saying? You ain't finna play with me like I don't know what the fuck going on. Like I can't reach out body language and shit. Matter of fact, once I notice your ass acting weird, I'ma handle your bitch ass. How you gonna handle them? This not for you to know, nigga. You always wanna know shit. What's understood don't need to be explained, bitch. Told your ass. I told all y'all. You from this shit for real, you know how it goes. A lot of you niggas plant. A lot of you niggas lied about y'all life. 
Like y'all niggas hiding behind another nigga. Pussy. You looking for one nigga, 50 niggas pop up. Pussy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and end this shit. I got some shit to do. Love y'all. I'm out this bitch back in the crib with it, right? Yeah. Feels good being back, man. Go to this room. You get a little home walk through. Y'all can walk through my home. I don't know about these other niggas. It's my business residence, nigga. Check the, check the statements, pussy ass boy. Since y'all want to talk so much goddamn shit, talk the right shit, pussy ass boy. Since y'all want to set me up, act like I don't know what the fuck I'm feeling and what the fuck I'm talking about. Check out the, the shit, pussy ass boy. Stop being mad, pussy ass boy. Y'all said y'all getting this shit. Pussy ass boy. Last time I checked, you ain't getting shit but blicked up. Pussy ass boy. Y'all just getting robbed. Pussy ass boy. So how the fuck we the same, nigga? Y'all ass getting backed up by ugly bitches with nappy hair. Pussy ass boy. We is not the same, nigga. The bitch got, if the bitch got nappy hair, I ain't saying shit unless I know her. She better be kinfolk. And if you can't folk, I'm going to be like, good, do something with your damn hair, good. <laughs> and we going to laugh about it. But now nah, y'all, y'all got nappy headed bro bitches who got to got to ride with somebody back though, your ass. Yeah, we not the same. I'm out this bitch, man. Love y'all. Crescendo Productions, the Crescendo Podcast. <laughs>